guys, I'm Kaz and today I'm here with my TBR Ed pile for the month of March. So the first thing that I want to mention on my TBR pile is the Little Book Club pick for March and April. The theme for these two months was pirates and the book that you guys voted for to win and the one that we will be reading is, drumroll please, A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. There should be a live show at the very beginning of May. I'll be making another announcement video closer to that time when I know an exact date. But I hope you guys are excited for that because I will be also looking for four other hosts to talk about this book with me in the live show. I am so excited about this book. You have no idea, Vicious. By Mr. Schwab was one of my favorite books of 2014, and all the other books that I have read by Miss Schwab, I have really, really enjoyed. So, I have faith in this one. Now, moving straight along, let's take a look at the books that I'm currently reading and hope to finish in March. You by Austin Grossman and the audiobook version of The Ask and the Answer by Patrick Ness. Both of these I started in February. Outside of those, however, the majority of the books that I'm reading are going to be for university. I have a lot of reading to do for my Gothic literature course, pretty much a book a week, and for some of these, they're fairly decently sized. So, it's gonna be interesting, to say the least. <laughs> this is also a little bit of a sneak peek into my next haul video where I'll be showing you all of my university books because I've got some interesting ones here. You'll recognize quite a lot of them. So the next book that I have to read for the course is The Monk by Matthew Lewis. This one sounds intense, a little gritty and gruesome. Uh, just going off the synopsis here, it's set in a monastery in Madrid. The monk Ambrosio ends up breaking his vows, which progresses with sexual obsession, rape, and murder. So this will be interesting. The next book that I'll be reading is Lady Audley's Secret by Mary Elizabeth Bryden. Just a heads up by the way, for most of these I know absolutely nothing about them, so these synopses are totally on a whim. So I'm sorry if they are really vastly incorrect. This is about a girl named Lucy who accepts Sir Michael Audley's hand in marriage. But I think there's supposed to be a lot of mystery behind this particular Lucy and a few of the people that know Sir Audley are a little bit suspicious about her, I think. I'm not entirely sure. I will find out when I read it. I will also be reading my first Austen. This is the first time I've picked up a Jane Austen book and I will be reading Northanger Abbey. From what I'd gathered, the main character Catherine Morland falls in love with this man named Henry Tilney who invites her to visit his family's estate, Northanger Abbey. And I think whilst there she becomes suspicious of things and starts questioning things. I'm not sure if it's on any real basis or if that's due to the main character's uh, love of gothic thrillers. Uh, who knows? A lot of people know, but I don't know. I might know. You'd hope so. Too many O's. I will also be reading some of the tales of Edgar Allan Poe. I do already have my own copy of a selected works of Edgar Allan Poe book and it is absolutely gorgeous, but I decided to pick this one up. Uh, it was a recommended one for studying with and I did decide to go with it because there is a lot of extra content in the Norton Critical Edition, including things about context and background and the authors and things like that. So I thought that would be very, very useful. So I went with it. We will be looking at Silence of Fate the Telltale Heart, The Fall of the House of Usher, The Mask of the Red Death, The Murders in Rue Morgue, and The Premature Burial. Now these are all the books that I need to read this month because I'll be studying them all throughout March, but if I have time and I want to get a little bit ahead, I'll also pick up The Turn of the Screw by Jenry Hames. And with this edition, the text is only like 80, 85 pages, so hopefully I can squeeze that in there. Now I do have a pretty decent pile of books that I need to read throughout the month, and I do have a couple of books I'm reading for pleasure, but due to the nature of these books and my reading experience thus far, with one in particular, not too sure if I'm going to finish it, I've decided to take to my TBR jar and pick out a book to hopefully help me keep my sanity throughout the month, and at least have something I can pick up and read for pleasure here and there when all of these got tales start to eat me alive. So let's... Okay, the book that I am supposed to be reading is Warbreaker. Well, 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 Mr. Brandon Sanderson, it looks like I'm going to be finally reading one of your books. 
I do own a few of Brandon Sanderson's books. I haven't read any yet, but it looks like that might be happening relatively soon, which I'm really excited about. So I think in this world, people who die in glory come back as gods, which sounds pretty cool. And the magic system in this one is called biochromatic magic, which has to do with an essence called breath. And I think this kind of involves drawing upon the color of objects, which sounds really, really cool. And this one I think takes a look at two sisters uh, who are princesses and, oh my goodness, I'm excited. I don't think I'll be finishing this one in March. But hopefully I'll be able to squeeze in a few chapters here and there to kind of break up the other readings that I have to do. If I don't end up getting around to reading this one in March, I won't do another TBR jar pick for April. This will just kind of be extended a little bit because in April I'll be reading a lot more gothic novels as well. It's going to be like this for the next three months. Hooray! I am excited but it's just deadlines with me and reading do not go well. So that is my scary March to be read pile. But it's not entirely my fault that it is ambitious. I'm not even trying to get ahead of reading, I'm trying to stay on track. We didn't even find out about what texts we would be looking at till like half a week before this course started. So I didn't have time to prepare. I did not have time. This will be interesting. Hopefully I don't get too crazy stressed. Mm. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts about any of the books that I mentioned here. Are there any that you've loved and I should get really, really pumped up about? Let me know in the comments. And yes, that is all that I have for this video. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.